being out there today. Obviously, a, a lot of top teams, a lot of the top competitors in the state. Uh, what, what's this atmosphere like for you? Um, I kind of thought of this as like a mini sectional meet, just because it's the same pool, same teams. Like, we don't have new Trier here, but we have a lot of the, the top contenders for the state meet here. So, it's uh, definitely a big indicator for the rest of the year. And um, I think we had a lot of good swims. Well, you, you obviously went out and won the butterfly. You, you're, you're, you're coming back top six in the IM and the fly. Obviously, you lost a lot of seniors. Uh, what, what, what are you taking upon yourself this year? A little extra pressure? Um, not much extra pressure in my individuals, but I would say I've been swimming the 200 free relay lately, and um, I think we had a really good 200 free relay today, um, definitely. It's, uh, it's a good, good event for me, I think, because I'm more of a sprint freestyler than uh, distance, but um, I think it's nice to have that responsibility and have more of a team environment. What was the IM like? Obviously, you got Bessler and Depew in there, probably three guys that are all looking to get top six. Um, the IM, I definitely feel a lot more pressure in that, but um, it's always a good, it's always a good, healthy competition for that. So, um, yeah, with uh, Bessler there, he got top six last year, and we've always been competitors since we were six, actually. So it was good to be able to race him today. Kevin, nice meet out there, T two event wins, a little 50 free, is that something you've been working more on this year? Yeah, that's definitely something I've been working on the past year because you know, I've had to step up in the relays this year since we lost a lot of our depth from last year and it's been one of my main focuses, uh, like off season. Speaking of the breaststroke, it's been one of your focuses uh, pretty much your whole career. Uh, Matt Elliott came back one state last year if you won as a sophomore, how does that motivate you? I mean, uh, just thankful there's a guy there to race me and uh, just keeps you motivated every practice and just thinking you want to beat the other guy and hopefully drop as much time as possible at the end of the year. Well, obviously, state meet last year, really big, exciting three-team race. What are this team's aspirations this year? Uh, this year, a trophy would be nice, but we're just trying to, I don't know, top three is definitely our goal. I don't know about winning, but we just, we got a lot of work to do. Danny, nice performances out there today. What, was, what is it like for you to come to these big invitationals? I like coming to these big meets because it gives me a chance to compete against a lot of people. So it's really nice because I get a lot more competition. 500, 440, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's an in-season personal best for you. Uh, it, it, you know, it wasn't much competition. What, what, How did you know where you were in that race? Um, it was a little hard since I didn't have anybody else to race, but... Um, like just with my coach King, like he helped me through the race. Was, yeah. Speaking of that 500, what, 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 one of your buddies, Kevin Butts, a little dinged up. You, you had a showdown with him last year. You you're looking forward to get, to get another chance to race him? Yeah, mm -hmm. I was a little. I was disappointed that I couldn't race him, but what can you do? Obviously, you, you became a state champion last year. There's a long line of Hinsdale Central state champions. What, 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 what's what's your goal for this year's team? Um, I'm, hope, I'm hoping that we can get more people back on Saturday, and it'd just be really nice if we could get that done. And, yeah. A couple relays? Yeah, a couple relays. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And what, what's, what's your long-term goal in the 500? For, is there a time that you want to see yourself go before the taper? Um, I'm hoping I can get under 40 for taper time, and then we'll just go from there. Jeff, nice to meet out there today. Real big team performance. As a senior leader on this team, what are your long-term goals for the team? Uh, obviously improving as a team. You know, obviously we lost the big four, 200 free relay, 400 free relay. Just having kids step up. Uh, middle of the season right now, sort of, about a month in, you know. Kids are stepping up all over, not just in meets. You have practice meets, you know, just day in and day out we have kids step up. So, I mean, just raising the bar standard-wise and practice and it meets. It's just kind of to keep the, I guess you could say, Naperville Central standard and expectations up. That's, that's the main goal this year, just improving and everything as a whole and rebuilding. Well, you, you come, you're coming back highly in both your events, coming back number one in the backstroke. What's it been like to have Sean O'Hain pushing you this year? Oh, uh, yeah, it's been great. Big Sean, you know, obviously he was here three years now. I mean, we, have Keith, we had Keith Piper. And, you know, Big Sean's been working hard for three years just to get a spot right now for backstroke. And obviously he's proven himself uh, in, in practice. It's great to have him. Uh, he's a fun load to have. You know, sometimes he doesn't know serious and when he can have fun and when he can be, you know, himself. And so just great. He's a great worker, great 
person to be around and train with uh, throughout the high school season because he's on a different club team than I am. And same with Nate. You know, us three have been together for three years now, and so we're just kind of going in day in and day out, realizing like we have to push ourselves to be uh, ready for the end of the year. Well, speaking of that, you, you talked about those the big, the big four, the freestylers. You're on that 400 relay now. Is, is, is that fun for you? Uh, it's pretty fun right now. Obviously, <laughs> going up against Thompson and everyone just like knowing uh, you're not the best freestyler. I'm not the best freestyler. I mean, I can put it together, but. Yeah. It's, it's entertaining to watch and everything and actually be a part of because you actually get to experience the whole thing. Obviously, watching the state meet last year, I didn't really feel it. I just cheered and just kind of went it nuts. And uh, being a part of the Relays now, it's obviously a whole different experience, you know, keeping up with your team, you know. You, you kind of have a little pressure towards the end of the meet, but, you know, it gets you ready for uh, the end of the year and everything. So we're just pushing towards that. So one more Next year, uh, you're going to be teammates with your brother again. Yeah. So t talk about that. Um, I'm going to University of Redlands next fall, uh, Southern California. Kind of, uh, I'm really excited. Division three, Division one. I, I mean, I I would much rather be uh, impact right away on the team, and knowing I could be versatile. You know, Division one, I, I feel like I would be restricted in my events. I I mean, I could put together. Good brushstroke, good fly, good anything, whatever the coach wants me to swim. And obviously being a, a part of the team with my brother again, it'll obviously help me out a lot. And being in Southern California where it's going to be sunny the whole time, I'm pretty excited about that, getting out of the cold. All right, thanks. We'll see you in February. Yeah, no problem. Thank you very much. I love your show.